Hello everyone, this video is about epoxy resin covered baleners that we've built for inside a man cave. We hope you enjoy it. Okay, here's the view of the raw product straight from the mill. Um, both of these slabs came like this with obvious imperfections. They were both actually um, relatively twisted, they went flat, so I actually had them sitting for quite a long time on um, packing to try to alleviate with weights on top, try to get it straightened out before the, um, the next stage of the process. So there was probably about um, 40 hours in total of um, preparation to the final product. So yeah, there's, there's quite a lot involved um, and it was all done in spare time I just because there's quite a lot of imperfections in this wood to turn it into something that looks half decent for the uh, man cave that it ends up sitting in. So with all good projects there's a lot of planning that goes in behind the in the scenes. Um, the problem with these bits of timber that they are very irregular on both sides and they've got to fit flush up against the wall so um, I mocked up this piece and I did the other piece but that's the um, finished height just below that horizontal piece and I mocked both of them up like I say to um, get them as close in as possible to the timber wall. So here, here's where the real fun begins, so we're actually starting to mark up um, pencil marks at both ends there, trying to work out what looks nice and what doesn't in terms of how the ends of each shelf will look, each baleen will look. So there's a bit of deliberation in terms of how we're going to do this, but, so it's all a bit ad hoc. So here we are, just basically roughing it out really with a skill saw. I'm following uh, the pencil lines that have got on there, so I've got an idea of how the curvature will look. But, um, it's all just this is all just hard yakka really. You've really got to try to manipulate the, the whole angle to make it look nice so the curvature looks nice and um, it's just, it just takes forever and no one really looks, likes looking at sanding so that's what this is all about. Okay we flicked in time forward in time here a little bit. Um, this is actually this has got two coats of epoxy resin on it now. It's just the um, the bench top epoxy resin uh, that we use and um, it turned out quite good and obviously there's been a hell of a lot of sanding that's gone on since the last little piece that we were showing and um, we're quite happy with the way it turned out here. So this is the flip side so you get all these bubbles forming uh, from the epoxy just drying like that so they all need to be ground off carefully and smoothed off and then this underside needs to be sealed as well you can't have exposed timber with a epoxy covered top otherwise the timber will, will naturally want to bow over time so all these bubbles were removed and I painted it with a paint to seal the bottom side okay just quickly focusing in on these black supports that sit underneath each of the baleners there's 10 of them in total that we cut on a table saw it's 200 by 50 mil pine and all the curves were actually sanded uh, to make it sort of look nice and there's three holes drilled in there for each of those screws which have all of course needed to be the correct length which uh, needed to actually measure those and consider what was required to securely fasten the baleners to the the wall. Underneath there was, um, to fix the actual supports to the actual underside of the uh, bar leaner we used 15 by 15 by 3 millimeter angle iron and cut those to the correct length and then used um, appropriately sized screws to screw up uh, from underneath onto the um, bar leaner itself so uh, in the end it turned out really good. Um, they were very well secured. And, we used a resin product, a stain that they have, so that we could maintain a grainy effect on the black supports, which turned out quite good. Looking at this piece here, we actually used standard automotive bog and coloured that with a black dye from the um, epoxy shop, the fiberglass shop, and used that to fix all the imperfections on the, on the wood, which was quite a good trick actually. I saves expense on using epoxy to fill up all the little nooks and crannies on the timber. Additionally we also added some effects to the actual epoxy resin. There's a copper oxide effect in here and there's also a glow in the dark effect which really didn't do anything but uh, just thought we'd try it. Um, 
and um, the epoxy is actually applied with rubber gloves and to get into those funny little uh, cavities just at the front there you sort of got to scoop it out when the epoxy's still in a working uh, viscosity so yeah it was a bit of a learning curve but um, so yeah it ended up a very satisfactory project we were happy with it and we've had several beers on it hope you enjoyed the video please subscribe if you enjoyed it thanks a lot